this shit before they had a government. That's what I'm saying. I don't even know why we need that right now. It, it makes it makes no sense to me. It's well, just... we need structure. Yeah, we always have to have a structure because you got to have a way in order to help most more people than people get left behind. Just so happened, the structure we under is designed to drag ninety eight percent of the people behind. Yeah. And 1% of the people ride on the back of the other 1%. Okay. So it's not designed for a community. We want to go back to a system that was designed for a community. That's why we choose matriarchy, because ain't no big eyes and no little yous. When they tell you who the leader, everybody going to say, you got to talk to the, uh, go to Big Mama house and talk to whoever there with Big Mama, because that's the council. Yeah. You know? And so yeah. we know how to check in with the OGs when we go to new cities because anything happened, you know, they don't want our blood on their land. So they need yeah. to know there so they can tell their soldiers to stand down. These ain't imposters on the land. They are brothers from a distant city or state, you know, okay. from across wherever. But they got us now thinking that this is gangbanging. It's not gangbanging. It's tribal respect across the land. The, yeah. If an elder goes somewhere, he send a scout, the scout alert the um, chief of the land that he's coming, right? He tests yeah. the scout, make sure the scout ain't feeding him no bullshit. Then he send the scout back, and the scout tell the chief, you can check in when you get there. Yeah, it's just it's just how we did our shit to make sure everybody was safe wherever they went. Now you got whole carloads of pe families coming up missing because nobody checks in with the people of the land that's supposed to make sure they straight. You know, yeah. we're just supposed to go set up a resort on somebody's shit and don't expect nothing bad to happen to us without the people whose shit it is governing it. No, right. So we're going back to Big Mama, raise the matriarchy. <clears throat> they yeah. got a, Larry, Angel Bay, and Tukey going to come answer for the condition of the land. They're going to tell y'all everything I said was right. Yeah, he told y'all the truth. The imposters yeah. was them. He called them on their bullshit. He caught them in the act. The same niggas put a hit on Nipsey. The same niggas put a hit exactly. on Tupac. The same yeah. niggas put a hit on Biggie. The same niggas put a hit on Malcolm. The same niggas put the hit on um on Father God a lot. Putting Clarence Thirteen next of the five percent nation. The same motherfuckers put a hit on uh, Martin. The same motherfuckers put a hit on Mega Evers. The same motherfuckers did it themselves and blamed somebody else for uh, Chief Littlehorn Emmett Till. Right, these the same motherfuckers. For real, man. These yeah. the same motherfuckers came over here dressing up in their Spanish regalia. Right? Yeah. Same motherfuckers. So yeah. so somebody gotta tell y'all who they is. They look like us, but they ain't us. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, they use they our own people against us. Yeah, so they ain't our people. This name they use our people against us, but oh. they ain't our people. Well, yeah, they're not for us. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> right. They're the same motherfuckers that killed Noble Drew Ali. Yeah. And they just <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. Like they just they just want to turn they yeah, they training our people some well not our people, but the people that aren't for us, they just turned them against us. So Yeah. Yeah, they say Bob Marley had cancer because uh, he kicked the soccer ball and busted his toe. Make that shit make sense, man. We don't just believe everything they tell us. Nah, they just trying to cover it up. They 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 don't tell them what really killed them. They be covering all that up. Hey, so uh, Instagram just gave me a two minute countdown. Man, at a minute, all right. seven seconds. All right. So all the people I didn't get to in the video to come in for their comments, uh, we'll be back at it again soon, probably tomorrow. So y'all probably get in then, or y'all can inbox me, and if I can answer your question there, I'll answer them. All right. All right, so it was good having you in here. Check yeah. your blood.
All right, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely need to. Um, yeah, it was nice talking to you too, Ride. Um, you, you real, you give me a lot of information, man. Yeah. That's good. Yep. Unity guy. Unity, peace. All right. Yep. <clears throat> All skin folk came kin folk. Spanish conquistadors invaded the land. They came to steal the gold. They told you in their books in search of the uh, the city of Cordoba, the city of gold. They came over here with a reign of terror on our land. They swore war against us. They raised conjure wars against us and thought that we'd never wake up from the spell of Kingu, right? Well, we woke, motherfuckers. We on deck, and we got 35 seconds left in this, and the 3-5 flips to 5-5-5, five, 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 and the 5-5-5 five, five, five is a straight turnaround. Free Larry Hoover, free Chief, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And um, then you got e Adad, which is the Temple of Enlil. Scroll down. Let's see what else you got. We got him. We got him. No worries. Right? Edu Kook, House of the Sheer Heat, right? That's the dumps. The dumps is the, is the sheer heaps. Okay. Right? And you got Tumal House, Temple to Enlil in Nippur, right? Then you got Enlil Sons, Ninurta. Born on Nibiru, then I go back to the first one. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to the next picture. Enlil married Ninlil. Uh, Sud was her other name. And Sud is Sud. Mm -hmm. Black. Right? Okay, so saving him from rape charges. Now, why would he be worried about a rape charge? Right. He supposed to be God Almighty. Yeah. But this sister right here, Ninlil, that he married, that he raped, the only way that he can get, the only way he can be free from the rape charges is that she got to marry him. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Right? Somebody like that over, overseas right now. So now you know why they use the charging of people with rape in order to subdue them, mm -hmm. even if they didn't do the rape. By the time mm -hmm. you get done fighting, that's how you know. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That was not tolerable in the matriarchal society. Mm -hmm. That was punishable by death. Mm -hmm. But in the patriarchal society, if you can rape her into submission, give her Stockholm syndrome, then you're good enough to go on ahead and keep her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, remember, the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they was fair, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Now, look at the name of it. Look what they call it. Known by his Light sky blue eyes. Now, what does the Quran wow. say? Ooh, the guilty who? Shit, the guilty eyes. blue eyes, oh, right? Shit, nigga. Bang, boom, pow. <laughs> <Damn. laughs> ain't that what it say in the Quran, though? Am yeah, I yeah, yeah, you ain't, yeah, 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 man. Look, go ahead. The the guilty blue eye was in him all Damn. this time. He was the one putting his children oh, up to shit. do his bidding, right? So let's go to the next one. Let's hey, somebody in the crowd. Hey, look, man. Look, if you, hey, you want to show your brother raw hands some love, we dropping the cash app in the link. Man, somebody in the, in the chat say young say uh raw get these niggas, man. Get these niggas, man. What the hell's going on? Get these niggas, man. This shit is crazy. All right, go ahead, bro. Okay, so Anu's second born son in Leo was born. On Anu of Anu's sister wife and two, right? Mm -hmm. Giving him the crown over older brother Enki, son of Anu and a concubine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Now look, commander of Earth, seventh planet entering the uh, entering from outer space, coming in from Pluto first. Mm -hmm. Right? They call this the seventh planet coming from outside, but we call it the what the fourth rock, third rock from the sun. Yep, yep, third rock from the sun, blue rock, plain right. blue rock, yep. Now look what it say, only God to appoint kingship on earth. There was no kings because we was ruled by matriarchs. That's right, women. Right, women. so that's why he did, there was no kingship on earth, because there was no patriarchal right to rulership until this. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. now let's go to the next one. Okay. This shit, hold on, damn, I hope I ain't skip one. Okay, sick. Was that? Did I skip one? Did you read this one already? Okay, you read that one. Let's go to the next one. Oh, yeah, this is good. Hit that like button if you're in the Okay, bit. now this is his alter egos. 
Now we finna show you why they at Rashad Jamal here. Because he keep bringing up Zeus. Enlil. And Sumer. Lord of the Command. What the fuck that mean? Ashtar Command? No. That's the Nibiru <laughs> fleets. He not in charge of Ashtar. They came no, 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 redemption. I just shoved it out there because I see Command. <laughs> <laughs> but look. The Great Mountain, Sumer. Right? Mm-hmm. All right, that's his that's his dwelling place. Mm -hmm. This is where the giant wick come in. So, so is it that that Sumer is it the same as Sinai? That's this in Samaria. Yeah. That's the ancient name of Samaria, Sumer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, called right. him right. look, Lord of Air, right? Yeah. New Namnar is his Assyrian name. Ilial, Lagash, Ilial, Babylonian. Zeus in Greek. This is why they had Rashad Jamal because he keep talking about he had war with Zeus and Zeus has sent his people to get him. You see it right there, Zeus, Greek. Yeah, right. Jupiter, Roman. Dias, Hindu, Hindu, the Vedas. Odin, Norseman. Right? Heir mm -hmm. to Anu's throne on Nibiru. He ain't heir to shit on Earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? So he was trying to assert his jurisdiction as the uh, heir to Nibiru on Earth and it had nothing to do with him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Somebody had called in. I had to um, okay, I was okay. to make sure that. Okay, we on this one right here. I think. Okay, right there. See what it say? In Lil, and new second son and heir. Born of the double C law of succession. You see what it say, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the symbol for the double C law of succession is the double head bird. Okay. 32 degrees, Scottish right. Remember? Okay, yeah, go ahead. I'm with you. I'm right, I'm right there. With you. Okay, so that's the symbol for double C law of succession. Remember I told you they came in 32 to Scottish right on the hostile bump, yeah, left bump, right? The That's what left bump. told us to look yeah. We got the ass. Ain't gonna be no more bumping after this. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to the next, see what the next one got. All we right. might be done with the Enlil slides for now. Well, hold on, let's see what that is. Uh, it, it, it's, it's doing a little bump. Okay, all right, there you go right there. Okay, so this is who Enki, Enki, this is Enki. Inky is known as Nudamud. Now, the reason why I got Inky here because where did Cain get his wife from? The land of Nod. The land of Nod is the land of Nudamud. Which is over here, America. I think it's America. No. No. Oh, the Bible said it was uh, Babylon. I think. Africa. South Africa. Yeah. South Africa in um, what we call Rafali was where his where his dwelling place was. They called mm -hmm. it the... Uh, the Absu, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? So it's say like he was the Sumerian god of wisdom, fresh water. Now remember, Oshun is, is, is uh, who we have over the fresh water. Okay. So these is the patriarchal agendas. Now, <clears throat> remember, Enki is the lord of the command. So this is what he's given, I mean, Enlil. So this is his orders to end the Enki. This is what he's supposed to usurp. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So he's the god of wisdom. Right, that's the knowledge. Uh -huh. Fresh water, right? Hydration, uh -huh. water represents spirit, intelligence, thinking, trickery, and mischief. You're moving too fast, Oh, damn, oh, damn. I thought you was down there. My bad. Damn. <laughs> Go ahead. Trickery and mischief, crafts. You see the word crafts in red, right? Yeah, crafts. Yeah. Go ahead. Magic. Remember, see, magic, exorcism, healing, creation, virility, fertility, and art. Iconography depicts him as a bearded man wearing a horn cap and long robes as he ascends the mountain of the sunrise. Now, what's the mountain of the sunrise? The sun eye mount. Now we're gonna get to that. Mount Kilimanjaro. Mount Kilimanjaro. It's a, in this image, flowing streams of water run from his shoulders, emphasizing his association with life-giving water while trees representing the male and female principle stand in the background. The streams are interpreted as the Tigris and Euphrates River, which, according to one myth, were formed from Enki's semen. His name means Lord of the Earth, 
and his symbol are the fish and the goat, both representations of fertility. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, now, it's a couple things I'm going to point out because they just told you uh, who Enki was. See where it said his, uh, in this image, flowing streams of water run from his shoulders? Mm -hmm. This is the source of the Nile they're talking about, mm -hmm. which is, uh, uh, you just said the mountain, didn't you? Yes, uh, Mount Kilimanjaro. Right. Remember, remember when Baba said that the elders over there on the mountain in Kenya did the ceremony for him? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Right. Because this is who he was up against. Uh, not Enki in Lille. And Enki's priest was the ones that was sending him the assistance. Wow. Go ahead. Now, Make you see where it says flowing streams of water. Run, emphasis is associated with life-giving water. The term life-giving water was only comedic and it was only used in reference to one body of water. Okay. What body of water do we know that to be? The Nile. The Nile. And the two streams of the Nile is the white, the white and the blue, right? Yeah. Okay, so now they taking us back to the Tigris and Euphrates because they trying to undermine everything we trying to do. These are the priest wars that we be talking about. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it was the Egyptian priest that was fighting against the Babylonian priest, and it's all documented in the uh, record in hieroglyphics. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Dr. Ben talked about the priest wars. Um, uh, what's my man from Sierra Leone? Uh, Sheikh Anthony Dia talk about the priest wars. Okay. Um, they mentioned the priest wars in the writings of uh, Albert Church War. And the uh, what's the other one name? Um, ancient Egyptologist that came up in eighteen hundreds with him, um, Albert Church War, and um, it'll come to me. But they was the two foremost Egyptologists, and they talked about the priest wars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, <clears throat> in the priest wars, it was predicated up on some. You remember Bobby Hemmett saying in the video we was showing the other day, he was saying that uh, we was losing memory. Uh-huh, yeah, he said they knew, they knew we was using memory, so they had to do something. So they left it in the, in the, in the, um, in the iconography of the land, mm -hmm. in the statuary and in the art, right? Mm hmm Now, blow that back up and see who in charge of crafts again. Inky. Right, so now, somebody coming to you and uh, one of your brothers got your kids hostage. You got to tell your kids how to free themselves, but you can't tell them openly. Mm -hmm. But you got control of all of this shit right here. Yeah. What is you going to, what messages are you going to use to send your child and let him know how to get free? Uh, crafts, mischief, trickery, <laughs> all no. kind of shit. Whatever we can use. We need whatever right. we can use right now. Now, yeah. remember this. When they say that a god was a trickster or the god of trickery, uh -huh. that means that you couldn't trick them. Yeah, right. They yeah. can't be deceived. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Right. So they have to be so good at all of the trickery that the um, mischief maker can't deceive them. Okay. So you put it in. So he's a god of wisdom. So you got to give him the wisdom. Right. And we know uh -huh. fresh water is Oshun. That's love and romance. Mm -hmm. Then we got intelligence, intellect, linear logic, father line thinking. And now we're going into trickery and mischief. We learn that from card games and sleight of hand. Then we go into crafts, which is the ceramics and the pottery and the designs. And then we go into the magic, which is the incantations and the spells and different things, right? Mm -hmm. Then we mm -hmm. go into the exorcism, which is casting out the uh, the devil by making his ass be seen. Mm -hmm. Because remember, the devil don't want to be seen. Yeah, that's right. Right. So the priesthood of Enlil are Amun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, unknown priests. Right. So you see that statue right there on the bottom right? Oh, let me go back. Right there by your cursor. Right here? Mm, you was just already at it. Yeah, it just looked up. It was already on the screen. There you go. Right here? Go back up. 
All right, go back up. The troglodyte. Right there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. These beans. That's, that's, what, that's what I was gonna tell them. Uh, I was gonna piece it together for them on how they came, how these uh, beans came with these uh, willow peaks. They come from these yeah. beans here. Go ahead. The Maldekians there. Yeah, the Maldekians. These beans. It was another group of beans that they was over. The little short beans. They were called the primitives, and these they were disagreeable, and they they were the ones that was kidnapping the kids and eating them and raping them. And then, uh, but they mix the with the crows. Beans. Yeah, they mix with the beans. The Hindus, these beans mixed with the Hindus and created these beans. You see, you see, uh, Halo got that willow peak. See right there. So you saw, yep. so you, you see, you see like the horn. That's where they get the horn thing from. The, and then they got mm -hmm. these beans in. Uh, they got these beans in that move in that Star Trek thing too. They tell you they came from from a planet called Vulcan. Right here, they, they put them in. They got, they got the like the elf shaped ears, but they got the mm -hmm. uh, those peak type head shape. These, he a Vulcan. Okay, stop. When they say Vulcan, you know what they're talking about, right? They're go not ahead, talking about the planets. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So, L. Ron Hubbard wrote a series of science fiction books, and the science fiction 